Hey Jed Dorsey here with Blick Art Materials. I wanted to talk to you today about a really important thing about color and why you can't trust the name on the tube of paint but you really need to look at the number. So if I was trying to buy a purple or a violet color in Utrecht, uh, I would find that the artist grade paint is called dioxazine violet or dioxazine purple, I should say. Whereas in the student grade, it's called red violet deep. So what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of these paints into my palette box here and I'll just test them here on the canvas. This is the Red Violet Deep. Okay, that's what that one looks like. Now what about the Dioxazine Purple? How different will that be? And look at that. It looks pretty similar. Now why is that? One of these is called Red Violet Deep and one of these is called Dioxazine Purple. Why are they so similar? Well, the reason lies on the back of the tube. This pigment number is PV23 and this pigment number is PV23. These numbers matter more than the name that is on the front of the tube. This is the same pigment used. The difference between these paints is that there's a slight difference in the binder and the amount of pigment that gets put in, but the pigment is the same. And now it might not make a big difference here, but what if it was the same name, but a different color? Let's take a look at another example. So here now I have a couple colors that are called quinacridone red. Utrecht and Liquitex. Both of them great paints, heavy bodied, artist grade, lots of pigment in there. Let's see what happens if I put these down and test them out. Now just imagine that you had signed up for a workshop and you had gotten the color list and you had gone to the store or you had ordered online and you, you got quinacridone red, the perfect color your teacher wanted you to get. And you show up and the teacher puts down his or her quinacridone red and it looks like this. And then you grab your quinacridone red and you put it down and it starts to look like this. Oh wow, these are starting to look quite a bit different. Now, what if I mixed a little bit of blue? What would happen if I did something like this? Let's see what happens if I mix blue with this one. Not quite as pure of a violet. It's got a little bit more of a brownish tone to it. They mix totally different. They look totally different. This is much more of an orange red. This one leans more towards violet. These are actually different colors altogether. This pigment is PV19. This pigment is PR209. Totally different pigments, same name, quinacridone red. Now here's another reason why you want to understand the pigment numbers and not just the names. Let's say you had a couple different colors that you really love. Brilliant yellow, green, brilliant purple, or this is called King's Blue. Now these are Liquitex, this is Amsterdam acrylics, but what are these colors? What if you went to the store and you couldn't find this color was sold out, you couldn't get it? What would you do? Well, if you started reading the back of the tube and not just the name, you would be able to understand how to mix this color yourself if it was out of stock. This, for instance, is made up of three or four colors, titanium white, aerolite yellow, another aerolite yellow, and a 
phthalo green. Okay, friends, I hope that that was helpful for you in understanding why you cannot just trust the name that is on the front of the tube of paint, but you must understand the pigment code on the back and how that is the most important thing because the names from different manufacturers can change and even within the manufacturer's own line, they can change from student grade to artist grade paints. And you can mix a lot of those colors yourself if you understand and know how to mix them but having the right pigment is going to be very essential. So on behalf of Blick Art Materials, my name is Jed Dorsey. Come visit me on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, anywhere you can find me, or come to Acrylic University where I teach people how to paint. Thanks for being here. We will see you next time.